Hello guys, Earthrock, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering reflection probes. Now, reflection probes are a big deal, and they're extremely simple, but people are not really understanding the process of them. So I'm here to sort of explain it. It's going to be a little difficult uh, to explain this. You'll have to figure it out because every situation is different uh, with every map. So I'm trying to give you a basic idea of it. So let's look at our reflection probe given. In the default map, if you click on it, you have this small little box. Now, uh, this is like basically what you want uh, the reflection probe to cover. So you want it to cover your entire room. Now, most people make the mistake by using one reflection probe and covering their entire map. No, it's not going to work properly. So let's bring it back some. Let's put it in a designated room. So let's pretend this little box that I made in like four seconds <laughs> is our uh, room. Now, there's two rules that you need to have. One, it needs to cover the entire room, as in like it needs to go all the way up, all the way down, all the way inside. Like you can have it between the walls, I don't care. It just needs to not cover right here and I'll show you why and you can mess around with these uh, like you can stretch the box out using the 2d grid do whatever you want I'm gonna make a small example right here and uh, you want the reflection probe to see everything in this room so I can just put it down right here but if I have like a tiny little bathroom right here some kind of closet and I want that reflection probe to pick it up I'm not going to have it right here if it's this small of a room or something. Sure, you can just add another reflection probe. That's an easier way. Uh, I actually recommend doing that. But let's say you're being lazy and you have this big room. Try to, and there's no door block in the closet. you got to remember that. Uh, try to have it, sh like, seeing your entire room, but also seeing the inside of the closet. I'm talking about the little ball. And then you can cover it up and do whatever the crap you want to do. So... First off, I'm going to render the lighting and show you guys a small little example, and hopefully uh, it will work. I'm going to do a high bake. Elevator music by Earthrock. Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, it's it's very hard to see, but I'm I'm going to try and point it out, and it's very noticeable later on with your maps. So let's see if we can't just give this a random texture. Uh, giggity giggity. I'm just going to type in dirt, okay? So then we can get this done. Uh, whatever. Right there is good. So as you guys can see, actually you can't see, it was a little bit better right here. You'll notice it later on in your map. But see how right here, I'll kind of point it out with uh, the brushes. Oh, shnikes. Either way, it's very hard to explain, but right here you can see this kind of reflection, or it's like a little bit brighter than the outside right here. So right here it's dark, and right here it's bright. It's because that little box we made with the reflection probe is not touching this area. So let's say we cover the entire room. And again, just bear with me. I know it's a little hard to explain, but when you play around with it, you'll understand. So let's build the lighting one more time. And as you can see, it goes away. So when it's done processing the probe, come on. Okay, see, now that little white box has actually gone away. It is now... Uh, covering the entire thing, meaning that the reflection probe is working, it is covering the entire room. That's what you want, okay? And I'll do another tutorial, like how to stop light bleeding, like how to stop it bleeding from right there, or having some sunlight uh, bleed in if you had like regular sunlight, like I believe this is a little bit of bleed. But either way, uh, that's a basic tutorial about reflection probes. I know people have trouble with it, but it's extremely simple. Uh, I may have not explained it in the best of ways. Uh, I'll probably figure out a better tutorial later on. My map would be a good example, but it would take way too long to render uh, the map. So just focus on the main two rules. 
try to have reflection probes in almost every room. Just cover the room with the green box. So beepity boppity boop. And make sure the reflection probe, the little orb, can see uh, almost everything inside of your room. Now, like, it might not be able to see certain things, but as long as it, it can just see the majority of everything, you're fine. Don't worry. But yeah, that's a basic introduction into reflection probes. I'm sorry if this wasn't the best tutorial. If you feel like giving me a dislike, dislike it. If you feel like giving me a like, but I need to actually point this out uh, because whenever I explain it to people over text, uh, it's a little bit easier for them to understand. So hopefully this helped. I really hope this helped and I did a good job on it. Uh, I'm going to do the next tutorial being curve patches, so I will see you guys in the next one.